Not many sounds are sweeter than a baseball connecting with an aluminum bat. Bobcats baseball is back at Bob Brennan, and let's play two. Ohio jumped in front early in game one thanks to three first inning errors by Moorhead State, forcing in two runs. Those defensive woes continued in the third as Traben Thunderbird reaches first on a throwing error, scoring two more runs for the Bobcats, making it four to nothing. The Bobcats add more insurance in the fourth. Mason Minzy singles out to left the chase home Spencer Harbert, extending Ohio's lead to six. And that's pretty much all Ohio Southpaw Joe Rock needed. The 56th overall MLB draft prospect was untouchable, walking just two batters while striking out six. But don't look now, there is a goose egg in the hits column for Moorhead. In the final inning, Rock needs just two more outs after walking a man, and no problem. Six, four, three, double play, and that's it. A seven inning no hitter for Rock, and Ohio wins six to nothing. The Bobcats and the Eagles hit the diamond shortly after for game two, and this one was a pitcher's duel. Colin Sells got the start for Ohio and only lasted four plus innings. The Eagles finally broke the scoreless tie in the fourth when Peyton Dillingham singled home a run, but Ohio countered in the bottom of the inning. Aaron Levy launches one off the wall in straightaway center to even things up at one, and that was the last time a run crossed home plate for a while. Now Ohio has a chance to walk it off in the ninth with the bases loaded, but Colin Kasperbauer grounds it out the second and we have bonus baseball in Athens. In the 11th, Moorhead State finally breaks a scoring drought when Jack Gardner singles one in the center, scoring Stephen Hill from second. Moorhead added another run that inning when Chase Harris walked in a run. Moorhead takes a rainy second half of the twin bill, 3-1. to one. one of the highlights of the Bobcats on Friday was the strong pitching performances from several different pitchers in both games of the doubleheader, and most notably that no-hitter by Joe Rock. I thought the pitching was outstanding today again. You know, last weekend um, we had good uh, quality starts out of our guys uh, down at Radford, and then obviously you mentioned Joe Rock. He's 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 one of the top left-handed pitchers in the country for a reason, and uh, he's uh, he's he's our horse. And uh, I, I expect Joe to to give us that opportunity every Friday night uh, going forward into the spring.